Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to transfer your Shopify store and its um, privileges and admin controls over to a new owner on Shopify using a new email address from scratch. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And the first thing that you guys need to do, obviously, is you want to make sure that you're logged into your Shopify account as an administrator. So as you can see here, here's what it looks like, and here's what the dashboard looks like. And the idea is we would want to get access to settings. And to do so, you'd want to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen of your dashboard to click on settings. And what's going to happen is it's going to um, pull up this page right here. And if we're going to transfer our store to a different email account or a different store email, you would want to go to the users and permissions tab. So it's this one right here between billing and payments. So once you guys are here, you actually have the option to transfer your ownership to someone else. It could be a staff member that's registered in um, your Shopify store, or it could be an entirely new email address managed by different people. So um, what you need to do is um, click on transfer ownership right here. And then you would need to follow the on-screen instructions to input the pertaining detail or the corresponding details, I should say, to the new owner. So it's going to be the new owner's email address, their first name, their last name, and your store password to confirm. And once you're done with that, um, simply click on transfer store ownership, and they should receive an email to confirm that the ownership has been transferred over to them. And if they click on accept, the transfer will be successful and you guys are done. So what will happen is the new stoner, uh, the new um, store owner, I should say, should be able uh, should be able to remove you from the store or change your permissions as they're the new owner. So they have um, admin privileges. And here they also have the option to view or edit the credit card or banking information or billing information that pertains to your store, as well as um, having the option to pause or close the store. And once you guys are through with that and you're okay with transferring your ownership, simply click on transfer store ownership and you guys are done. And that's honestly all there is to it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, hopefully it helped you out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. All right, so we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.